Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is July 3rd, 2013. We got a lot of breaking news, including news right here in Austin, so let's get right to it. Top story headline, mysterious low-flying plane buzzes Austin. Now, if we can go to some of that footage, guys, so people can see this plane. Yeah, you can see it right there. We were out and about, Alex was out and about in Austin today, and we saw this here in the studio as well, right outside. You know, there's this plane, you can see it right there, and you screen flying very, very low. You know, I don't know the exact height, but it is flying much lower than what you would think would be necessary. And for more on this, we have Alex Jones, who actually interviewed one of the witnesses of this event. Ma'am, you just heard me talking on the phone, and you said you saw it. Uh, tell us what you saw. I saw a large airplane fly in between the buildings in Austin. This morning at 10 a.m., it was terrifying, and I had no idea what it was. I was out driving. Yeah, I was driving too. And I looked up out. and it filled the entire screen of my car. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I, I, what thought was it was, it? I thought it was 9-11. What did you and think? That's what I thought. It's exactly what I thought. But then I was like, why don't they do it in Austin? Did you see it do it two more times? No, I could. I lost it. Exactly, because it was so low. Uh, it, 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 I was it, looking it, up too high then. Well, no, I mean, it just comes by quick. That's crazy. D d I saw it go between buildings. What did you see? I saw it going towards the buildings. And then I saw it go in between buildings. Yeah, no, no. And then I couldn't when see I it saw it, I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't either. And that's, I thought, 9 11. Absolutely. That's, that's what everybody I talked to. I thought people on the street that saw it. But oh, great. So I'm not the only one. I thought no, it was no, 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 no. This is a national news story. Really? They did this a few years ago in New York and terrified everybody. Right. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> uh, why do you. It turns out it's called the Doomsday Plane. It's like a shadow government. There's a nuclear war plane. What? It's called the Doomsday Plane. Yeah, it's a secret government. A secret program. government. They've got like six of them. Great. So why did they do it? What is it? <laughs> no, what? I was just wondering, did they let people know beforehand? No, no, they did. They did. No, no. They terrorized New York three years ago with it. Perfect. But, but listen, I'm only talking to her because we got footage at her office in South Austin. I was downtown and I'm driving and all of a sudden, it was like... Yeah. And I was like, Whoa. I thought I was crazy. Yeah. I, I did too. I thought I was crazy because I couldn't find it anymore. Like, after went through the buildings, I couldn't, I couldn't. Well, see, that's the thing. When I they're that drive. low, that's how it is. That's so When scary. they're that low, you're like, did I just see a giant aircraft fly right by? <laughs> <laughs> did I just see a giant aircraft fly right by me? That's exactly what I was thinking. Well, listen, thanks for talking yeah, to us. Yeah, absolutely. All right, folks. Alex Young <laughs> signing off for InfoWars.com. And we will continue to scan the skies. This is a huge psyop. The condition is for military occupation. Yeah, like I said, we saw this here at the studio as well. Everybody went outside with their cameras, with their phones, with their iPads, and we're just shooting this thing that's, you know, and people say, well, what if it's, you know, a plane just taxiing or a plane that's, you know, coming in to land? It wasn't that, because you can see it right there. This thing is flying at a very low height all through the city, flying through downtown, through other areas. You know, we saw it here at the office, and it was, uh, it's a very dangerous thing, because Alex points out this thing was flying low enough, it could have easily hit a building if it had any type of malfunction, any type of malfunction. And actually, I want to go to this, our next article, Flying Low, Buzzing Jet, Just a Training Exercise. Now, this is something of an affiliate here in Austin, Texas, and you can see it right there, KXAN. Now, we have our own footage of this, but you can see the image right there from the images that we have ourselves. We can see that the, it does bear at least a resemblance to the, uh, the emblems on the bottom side of the wings and so forth that is uh, appearing in our footage as well. But there's one thing I want to point out to you guys. If we can scroll down a little bit on the image and we can get the timestamp right there. Zoom in. Now, 7.03.2013 isn't so much my issue. It's, you see how it's all pixelated there? And I'm looking at this and, you know, I'm sitting there with our producer, Rob Dew, and we're like, why does it look like that? Why is it so pixelated on that one particular image? Now, I do believe that to be an accurate representation of the aircraft, but my question is, why does it look so much uh, so pixelated on that timestamp? You know, that's you know, nothing I've had a chance to get to the bottom of, but just something to you, the viewer, to point out. Now, I want to go to one more article uh, pertaining to this. Obama, New York City flyover was a mistake. Now, this is something that Alex was talking about earlier today on the day show, and he was saying, you know, this reminds me of 2009 when this thing was flying real low through New York City. And, you know, they said it was just a photo op. You know, it's a photo op. A lot of people were scared stiff. You can see the plane right there flying very low, very similar to what happened today in Austin, very low through the buildings, and many people thought it was a new 9-11. But no, it's just the president, you know, using your tax dollars to scare New Yorkers by having planes fly through buildings. Now, we're going to go to this clip now of CNN. Now, this isn't that particular 
video, but this is a clip by CNN pointing out how these low-flying airplanes are affecting people. Carnage of 9-11, a mysterious plane was seen flying right over the president's residence. Even some CNN staffers saw it. To this day, it has never been officially explained. Say the details are classified. This comparison of the CNN video and an official Air Force photo suggests the mystery plane is among the military's most sensitive aircraft, an Air Force E-4B. The, the average military person isn't involved. Even the average FBI person isn't involved. They'll just be told, oh, it was some drill. And it gets you used to just having a giant secret shadow government aircraft almost run into buildings. And for more on this, we're going to go to a Air Force veteran, Mr. John Major. Thank you for joining us, John. No problem. Now, if we can put Good those, uh, thank you, sir. If we can put those videos back up for our viewers. Now, John, I believe you saw this footage earlier today. These are low flying planes. You can see it right there on your screen, flying low through Austin. Alex was in downtown Austin, said those things were flying not too much higher than the skyscrapers in downtown Austin. Yeah. Yeah. And it, if you notice um, about the bulkhead, that's slightly behind where the pilots would be. Uh, driving the plane, mm -hmm. you see that on top there there are sensors up there which are indicative of the E-4B. So okay. um, I, I believe Alex has identified it right. That is the E-4B. And that's uh, somewhat of a, a radar hub on the top. Is that correct? Correct. And uh, I, it should also have some antennas for command and control in there also but yeah it's pretty much from what I've understood in the military is that was the mother of of the AWACS system that was flown in the military okay now do you have any idea why that would be flown so low through the city like I said I can't give you exact height but you know seeing planes take off and you know fly around the city it seemed like it was pretty low yeah I agree and it, and it did look like it was unmarked mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see any windows um, it it looked like a fairly clear shot. I would have liked a little closer up, but from what I could tell, it, it is the E4B, and I they only made four of them. So of that one particular plane. Yeah, the the ones they converted over to E4Bs were were about four of them. It was all for upper echelon, kind of Secretary of Defense, uh, President, kind of like uh, Air Force One, kind of, a, but a more of a militarized version of that. Okay. Now, we know this is just a short segment. We're going to have you back again at the end in our interview segment. But briefly, let me get your thoughts on Edward Snowden. This guy, he comes out, he releases this information. You know, you as a military man, or should I say retired military man, what do you feel about this? Um, what he's saying is definitely true. It's been stated by, I, I, I find it rather, you know, satirical a little bit that the mil, that President Obama and a lot of the leftists, in the government seem to be chasing him down like he's done something really horrible when all he's stated is the obvious what they've already stated themselves and yeah chasing you know, him down like he uh, ran some guns into Mexico or killed some kids with drones or something exactly and and I, I want to make a call out to fellow military that they you know if you know some stuff you know Snowden did the right thing and he's taking I, ho I hope the American people and I hope other countries will help aid and, and help him, you know, preserve his life. Because I really do believe that these people may, may catch up with him and kill him. And, and I'd hate to see another patriot lose their life. Over so you, this, don't, you, know? you don't consider him to be a traitor? Not at all. Uh, we, the prime directive of every military person is to the U.S. Constitution. And when you know there's a violation of it, it's your duty. You know, you may have signed some contract with NSA, FBI, whoever issued your clearance. It doesn't really matter. Um, you, if you know something's wrong, you need to expose that. And that's actually trained to the soldiers. When they're in basic training, they're told that they're required to not obey illegal orders. And so when you get illegal orders, are you going to be the coward or are you going to stand up like Snowden, you know? And I just hope that enough people stand up that this gets exposed properly rather than him just getting blown over as a twig in the wind. You know? Yeah, I hope so as well. Now, John, this is a short segment. You can stay right there. We'll get it right back to you right after our break. Because there's a war on for your mind. 
That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team.